And noise means money. Evelyn Fisher is the co-owner of Nico's Girl Shop in Willits, and she fears that the Six Mile Highway 101 Willits bypass will lead customers away from her shop. During the summer, probably 50% of our traffic is tourists that come into our shop. Fisher says losing those tourists could run her business to the ground. Oh yeah, it absolutely could take us out of business. There certainly will be some impacts to downtown businesses, I won't deny that, but, but we can respond to that. We've got some plans in place. But Willis City Manager Bruce Burton says there's only so much they can do for businesses. They will have to learn how to market their business to a certain degree. Uh, you know, they get, they're going to have to be in charge of some of their own solutions. There's only so much marketing we can do or afford to do. There's only so much um, social media that we can put out there. City officials say the $300 million bypass will finally give Willits its Main Street back after over a century of having Highway 101 run through the middle of the city. For us, it's a... Uh, it is a, a you know a starting point, a new starting point, and we're really excited to have that opportunity. Another advocate for the bypass is Willits High School principal Robert Chavez. He says the bypass will help reduce the traffic coming into Willits, and he says less traffic means less risk for his students. I'll be less worried when I hear a, a fire engine or an ambulance after school is out or right before school because I'm always worried it might be a car versus student. So. For now, Mayor Burnham says he encourages people traveling on Highway 101 to stop by Willits. Please stop in and see us. I think you'll like to see what our new town looks like.